the barbarian, after using a book as an improvised weapon. <laughs> I'm the wizard now. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Skitter Demon Way and welcome to another GND memes video. Thank you, Nix. I'm having a good day. I hope you're having an amazing day as well and everyone else watching. Yeah, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Being old, quote unquote, is a mentality. My friend turned 29 today. For his birthday, he hosted several challenges to set our stats. Contests of strength, agility, wisdom, etc. Constitution was how well we could bear eating spicy salsa. Intelligence was a nerdy trivia, etc. Based on our final stats, he assigned characters. Heroes of various types, or goblins. We then went out and played live D&D. <laughs> Everyone here is between ages 23 and 29. Anyway, if someone says adulthood means abandoning ridiculous parties and fun times with your friends, they're full of <gasps> Come on, now you made me curious, I wanna know more details about what live D&D means, <laughs> actually. I wonder if they were a party of lizard folk. My first DM didn't have any minis, so he would use gummies or other snacks. We liked this, because whoever killed the foe got to eat it. It was very primal. The height of drama was a boss fight in which he placed a huge donut on the battle map in front of 5 hungry college kids. <laughs> Hashtag DND. That's a nice DM, but if, if you were a bunch of broke college kids, wasn't your DM pretty much supposed to be the same? <laughs> Dragons? D&D is a game where you sit around arguing about your plan for 25 minutes and then do not follow that plan. <laughs> the plan doesn't even matter, okay? It's, it's, who needs a plan, right? I mean, the plan can always go wrong if you just roll the dice poorly. I mean, we all know this player. That one player who keeps playing the exact same character no matter what style campaign you are in. <laughs> is that Sir Barrington? Is that, is that the character of Sir Barrington, finally? <laughs> The one and only? I wonder what Sir Barrington is up to these days. A good boss understands having priorities in check. Got a text asking to reschedule a meeting because the D&D game is going long and the person I was going to meet with is the only one who can kill the witch that they're battling. And I've never not minded the cancellation this much. Yeah, I don't think that the excuse is really gonna work. Even a very understanding person, I feel like they're still not gonna be happy about the cancellation. The game was rigged from the start. Climb the mountain to fight the beast stealing the ship. Or exploring the cave to find the legendary magic sword. <laughs> the same red dragon. Yeah, I learned that you only have to give your players the illusion that they have a choice so that they're happy about it, okay? They don't actually have to have a choice. <laughs> this meme is not vague and unconvincing. Player. Is the room empty? DM. It seems to be empty. I find that answer vague and unconvincing. Truly heartbreaking to lose it so quickly. My druid. Uses wild shape and ends turn. DM on the very next turn. Attacks my druid with enough damage in one hit to make him revert back to his non-wild shape form. <laughs> my druid before reverting. <laughs> Lich better have my money. Dungeon Master Culture is spending 8 hours planning a game just to turn around and derail the campaign because you want to make a dad joke at the end of a dungeon. <laughs> I I get it that it's kind of related because it makes a dad joke and that's what the story is about and whatever. Like, I don't know why it bothers me, but it does when titles on Reddit posts make a separate joke the, the, on their own. <laughs> like, I get why, but it still bothers me, I don't know. That was a lot deeper than I was expecting. That's what she said. Me, the DM, watching the PCs realize that the solution to the riddle was letting go of their fear of death, knowing damn well that I just planned it to be a clock. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's letting go of the fear of death. Yep, that's the solution. Good job. You got the riddle. Nice. <laughs> they don't have to know. They don't. Typed gender neutral bathrooms so often that when I wrote lawful neutral, my phone suggested bathrooms as the next word. <laughs> Gendered bathrooms, eh, pretty bad. Gender neutral bathrooms, solid, pretty good. <laughs> but then there's alignment based bathrooms. <laughs> That's a lot of bathrooms though, like you need a lot of space for um, alignment, -based, alignment based ones. Move over nerds, there's a new brain in town. The Barbarian, after using a book as an improvised weapon. <laughs> I'm the wizard now. Good job, Barbarian, you're smart. Smart guy, you're doing, you're doing great, buddy. Doing great. Yeah, the Barbarian is always special. A great idea to borrow. 
two universal constants of high fantasy living. First, if something falls into ruin, a necromancer will move in 100% of the time. Second, there is a critical mass of gold that will summon a dragon. If you keep accurate records and stay below it, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, but too bad that dwarves can't actually do that, they always end up digging too deeply and too greedily. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. If you don't renovate your summer keep and live in it at least one month out of the year, we'll have to charge you with negligent dungeonization of property. The old cellar laboratory might have belonged to your uncle, but if you aren't going to use it, something will. The players are a squad of government investigators trying to prevent monsters from claiming new habitat. It's mainly negotiation, but sometimes people have an interest in attracting dangerous entities for their own purposes. Reverse embezzlement. Evil accountants, hired by people who hate you surreptitiously, adding gold to your treasure rooms, increasing your wealth incrementally until the day the dragon event horizon is passed and you're ruined. <laughs> yeah, if you have enough gold, hmm, but you have to split it, right? I mean, I was gonna say, if you have enough gold, you can ruin anyone and make a dragon attack them, <laughs> but you need to be careful and not end up uh, attracting the dragon yourself, though. <laughs> Time for the recycling bin. Wizard. Am... am I dead? Death. Yes. For good? This time. What's next? The truth. Then show me. You are nothing but a piece of paper with numbers and rough sketches of penises on it. Yeah, that tracks. Normally, I mean Max, but sometimes the meme is funny enough. When the party enters an anti-magic field and the sorcerer can finally show off that charisma wasn't their highest stat. You are surrounded. All I am surrounded by is fear and dead man. <laughs> Strength 18, giving a plus 4 modifier. Alright, Mr. Wizard. I mean, Sorcerer. Whatever, same thing. <laughs> but, <laughs> Jesus. 18, plus 4. Plus 4! Why? This is my favorite class. Artificers in a nutshell. Here's a wand that has a silencer on it. <laughs> what the f- Roll 20 is our lord and savior. Me. Wait, so according to this pandemic rules, I can't meet with two friends to play D&D, but I do have to go to school with hundreds of others? My government. <laughs> These are confusing times. Never play D&D on the 1st of April. It won't go well. <laughs> Potions vending machine, okay. And then it's actually an April Fool's, yeah. Shark Elf might be a stretch. Dark Elf, Snark Elf, Bark Elf, and Shark Elf. Bedtime. Newbie. Oh my god, my character is about to die. Veteran. Is he unconscious? Newbie. No, he's at two hit points. Veteran. Oh, okay. Newbie. Okay? Veteran. Yeah, he just needs to take a nap. Newbie. He was hit by a ball of fire. Veteran. <laughs> yeah, and now he needs a nap. He'll be fine, don't worry about it. Just needs a long- he, he just needs a nap, he'll be fine. There's usually one in the party. And I, for one, I'm thankful when there's not. My daughters, you get out of my inn. That's the fourth time our horn dog bard got us kicked out of a place. Welcome to my inn that I staffed entirely with burly orcs and soulless golems. My burly orcs and soulless golems? <laughs> <laughs> Bards, man, goddammit. I am a comedic genius. An adventurer gave birth to twins. One an Asimar, the other a tiefling. She wasn't conscious, so her brother, the Barbarian, had to name them. What did you name the angel? Sinbad. A little eccentric, but okay. What about the other? <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Sorry, okay. What did you name the other? Sin good. <laughs> that, uh, those are good names, honestly. Those are great names, actually. <laughs> Amazing. It's my first time DMing, and I'm learning a f ton about creating content for D&D. Me, homebrewing monsters and pretending to know what the f*** I'm doing. <laughs> you don't really have to know, you just have to have your players think that you know. Made, raised from the dead, tomato tomato, players. It may be cliche, but I think the real treasures actually are the friends that we made along the way. <laughs> Necromancer. Horror story. Humans. I love humans as the non-default, rarer species. Imagine a centaur staring in absolute what the f horror as a human climbs a good sized tree. Mermaid. Oh look, a quadrupus. They're really freaky. 
Never seen one this close. Merman. What's wrong with its back health? It's like that time a seal got torn from tail to... Quadrupus climbs right out of the f water and then just ambles along on two feet, vertically, like some kind of nightmare crab with skin. <laughs> Mermaid. <laughs> Silent. Merman with much horror. Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ. My reason for the weekend. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, <laughs> and then D&D &D day. Or days? I don't know. The whole weekend maybe? I'm afraid it's terminal. The rocks will fall any second. Doctor. His alignment appears to be off. Instead of roleplaying lawful evil, he's being a chaotic asshole. <laughs> okay, dude. Dungeons and Dragons, aka Discord and Discretion. D&D &D in a nutshell. Come and get it. No, no, please don't come and get it. <laughs> Both classes can be replaced with any other class because no one can trust anyone else to not do something stupid. Rogue about to do anything. With all the respect, I don't need backup. Paladin. <laughs> okay, Paladin. It's not backup. It's babysitting. So, today's session was kinda dark. Your campaign is kinda dark, so you introduce a new NPC goblin child to spread some positivity and make the party happy. The party doesn't trust her and brutally kills her in her sleep. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What the fuck, party? What the fuck? Yeah, what did you do to the party to make them become like this? <laughs> Jesus. Not really a comment review because I'm not doing those, but <laughs> I just wanna read I just wanna show this comment to you because I think it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> uh Bard, you look like a first edition beholder. <laughs> beholder. Um yeah, on that note, we're gonna end the video here. So uh, <laughs> alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe for more if you haven't already. Also, thank you to everyone supporting channel on Patreon. I really appreciate it. So thanks a lot for the support given there. Links below if you want to check that out, as well as links below to all my social media, the Patreon, the Discord server, the subreddit if you want to check those out. And yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, bye!